Hi, I'm Owen Paulus. I'm a Principal Program Manager with Microsoft. I'm here to show you Story Remix, which is an evolution of the Photos app in Windows. It's already built to be the hub of your photos and videos and memories, and we're uh, rolling out the name change because we're evolving it to be the place where you can really start to tell your stories with video. So I'm going to start on the, the hub of the app, the Explore page, show you some of the things uh, that we've, we've done. So here's the big, beautiful view of your uh, photos. So you can see here, you know, the way a lot of people like to experience their photos is just kind of flowing through here and browsing. If you want to see a lot of your photos at once, you can, you can easily kind of click through these views. You can see some of the fluent design elements starting to show up here across the top, like acrylic and conscious scroll bars. One of the things I want to draw your attention to is what we've done here with AI and deep learning. Without doing any work at all, we've been able to draw out from your photos are the people, places, and things, so you can start to do searches. So you can search by the, the faces in your photos, places, so I can just pick a tag like New York, or for example, something like skyscrapers. And those were recognized without me doing any work to my photo collection at all. This is across the photos that are on my PC and up in OneDrive. The other thing we're using our machine learning for is to start to suggest stories to people. So for people that have traveled somewhere recently, we might suggest an event. So for people that have traveled to build, we're going to put together a set of their photos that are you know, from Seattle uh, and suggest a story to get them started. But because we also have uh, years and years of people's photos collected on their PC, we can go find photos from this day years and years ago to bring those memories back to people, which are especially meaningful and relevant. So let's jump into Create, which is the page where people's stories are collected. So for this demo, we've pulled together stories from across the team that's working on a Story Remix. So for this demo, I want to jump into this, this magic afternoon. So this is, this is a collection of photos uh, of somebody on the team, a friend of mine, Dom, and his son, Ronan. And so for anybody with kids, they can probably relate to an afternoon like this. This was just him hanging out with his, his kid. They were just doing some silly stuff. They dressed up to, uh, you know, he made some magic stuff and they were, you know, pretending to do some magic. And he also lost a tooth. Um, and so all he did was collect these photos and videos into a story. And Story Remix immediately created the first cut of a video story for him. And so you can see that playing back at the, at the top of the story here. So if we jump in to look at that, you can hear that we've got the first uh, cut of a soundtrack to go with that using modular music. We took the music and we cut it so that it has a strong start, a solid finish to go with the track. But if you don't like the first cut of the movie that we've done, you can remix it. You'll get a different set of filters, different music, and a different pacing to go with your movie. And so you find a version that you like, and when you settle in on a, a good first cut, you can actually jump in to edit. And so what we've done there is try and get people over that, that intimidating feeling of that blank canvas so that anybody feels like they can be a creator and they can start making a movie. And so you can jump in here to the story editor and immediately start you know, making changes to your movie. And so it's really easy. You can just take out, you know, maybe I don't want to tell the story of, of losing the tooth. You know, I kind of changed my mind about that. And so I'm going to take out of the couple of the clips, maybe add in, add in a different clip. And I do want to jump in here and just quickly make a title. And so what you can see what we've done here with the text options is we've made it really easy to pick options that look good. Like this is going to be animated and I just, I just feel confident that the result I get is going to look good when I'm done. So I can pick a filter and I'm done. And so everything that I've done here, I can export and share this movie as an MP4. I can upload it to YouTube, to Facebook really easily. And all this started rolling out to insiders today after the keynote. And so we love our insiders and we're looking forward to the feedback we're going to get. We take that feedback really seriously and we use it to help uh, choose the things that we're going we're to do next. Uh, we have a, a couple different choices in there. Uh, right now there isn't a 4K option, but we have kind of a high, medium, and low quality that, that, that uh, run the gamut. So, and that's a great place for us to get feedback from insiders. So, uh, so all that's rolling out. The next thing I want to show you is something else that we showed in the keynote. And that is uh, how we can start adding mixed reality into your videos really easily. So I'm going to jump into the special effects button here. And so this is a video where Dom asked Ronan to just kind of pretend you're casting a spell. And so what I'm going to show here is 
adding from the Remix 3D community a couple effects that we curated. And so here I've got a dragon. And so anybody who's used Paint 3D is really familiar with how these controls work. I can spin the dragon around. I can make him bigger. And what I'm going to show here is first, without doing anything, if I play the video, you'll see that the dragon doesn't look like he belongs. He's kind of floating around there. That's not really the effect we want, so I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to lock him into the scene. And so now I go back and I'm going to play it again. And now look how he looks like he really belongs there. So right here where he casts the spell, I'm going to lock him. And the scene I'm going to try and make here is of the dragon kind of roaring up and trying to intimidate Ronan, but Ronan's going to cast the spell and kind of, kind of tame him. So I'm going to have him intimidate here. This is an animation that's built into this model. And so play it back. Rawr. And then when he drops the wand there, I'm going to have him be tamed. Great. And now I'm just going to take another pass here, go back. And now I want to add my second effect, and this is the lightning spell. So I'm going to take this, add that, add that to his wand. Wait just a moment. And then let's go ahead and move to a good spot here where it's a good time for him to cast the spell. I think right there's a good spot. Uh, oops. Intro. And then... I think, I think right there he's got him kind of on the rope, so that's a good time to show some mercy. So now we'll, we'll go back. And let's try and see if we can see the whole thing put together here. Ready? Alright, dragon's looking for trouble, hit him. And he's got him, and this is my favorite part, the happy dance. So as you can see, we're trying to make it really easy for anybody to tell any kind of story. You know, you can tell a story of just kind of hanging out for the afternoon, or you can start to spice it up with effects from the Remix 3D community. You can start to see the way all different kinds of creators start, can start to engage from you know, kids playing around or even start to you know, use this to tell stories in education in all kinds of different ways. So that's what uh, Story Remix is trying to bring to Windows.